Hey guys, uh, so here we are, video number four. We're gonna look at um, harmonizing some licks. So what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna, we're gonna just play a pretty standard sounding rock kind of lick, and then we're gonna harmonize it diatonically um, in thirds. So what that means is basically, we, diatonic means we're only gonna be able to take the notes from the scale that we're using. And we're gonna be using this, um, Minor, minor scale, shape one. And uh, we, we're playing in C sharp for this. So when we, when we wanna harmonize, we wanna, we wanna do it in thirds. So as we go up the scale, all we're gonna do is take a note and then we're gonna miss the next note and go with, with the one after that as our harmony note. So for example, if this is my first note, then uh, what I want to do is I want to play, continue playing up my scale, three notes up from there, and that's my harmony note. And then end up with a nice sounding harmony there. So let's, uh, let's put that into action a little bit. I'm going to start off with, uh, with our lick, that, our initial lick that we're going to try and harmonize afterwards. So this lick just sounds like this. So it's a, it's a pretty classic rock sounding kind of, kind of lick. It's got some bends in there and we're just running down the scale. Okay, so if we look at the actual frets we're on, we're on the 12th fret here, which we're bending up a full tone. We're coming, we're really releasing that bend back to the 12th fret. And then we're down to the ninth fret on the B string. And then we're gonna do the same again on the G string, but we're gonna start on the 11th fret, bend it up a tone, release back to the 11th fret, down to the ninth, and then we finish on our root note here, which is on the 11th fret on the D string. So I'll play that again. So when, when we want to harmonize this then, what we need to do is, um, as, as we said before, we need to run up this full scale, just missing a note and then going with a note after that. Diatonic means that they have to stay in the scale. So you can't just kind of pick a shape, sort of a regular third or whatever. It's got to always be notes from the scale. So let's start with the first one. We've got this one. So if I come up two notes, that's a third up from where we were. Now what we did was we bent the note up. Now that bend had to be a whole tone to get up to the next note in the scale. But for this note here, if I bend the whole tone, I'm coming out of the scale. So what I wanna do here is just bend a half tone semitone and um, and then I'm staying diatonic so I can start here which will harmonize nicely with that okay now let's look at the next note that's from the original lick so if we run up uh, run up a third from there we go one two three so that's our next note in our harmony lick will harmonize nicely over. So let's look at the harmony lick. Let's just look at the frets quickly. We're on the 11th fret here, bending up a semitone, remember? Back down to the 11th fret, and then come down to the 12th. So we end up with that. Okay, now after that, on our original lick, we're down onto the G string, doing a bend. Again, it's a whole tone bend. So if we run up three notes from the scale, it's one, two, three, we're up to here for our harmony. Now this is gonna be a bend as well, so we've gotta decide if it's gonna be a semitone or a whole tone. 
Well, if I continue running up the scale, my next note is a, is a full tone away from there. So that means I've got to do a full tone bend. Because if I only did a semitone, it would, it would be out of key and it wouldn't harmonize as nicely. So we've got so far, that's what we've got. So let's look at the next note in the original lick. It's here. So if I run up three, three notes up the full scale from there, we've got one, two, three. And that's our harmony. There's no bends on that one, so that's nice and easy. So the full lick so far then is. And then we've just got one note left. In our original lick, it comes down to the root note here. So if we run up the full scale again, three notes, one, two, three. That means that is gonna be our last note of our harmony lick. So I'll put them all together. So it's a little bit tougher to play than the, uh, than the original lick. But uh, what we end up with is notes that harmonize really nicely with the, with the or original ones. So let's just go through the frets of that uh, for, for the full harmony lick. So 11th fret on the E string, semitone bend up, return to the 11th fret, down to the 12th fret on the B, and then we're gonna go to the 10th fret on the B and do a full t uh, a tone bend up. back down to the 10th fret, and then we just come down to the 9th on the B string, and then we finish it off by landing on the 9th fret on the G string. All together we have. It's a nice sounding lick. So, I'm gonna record a little loop now of, uh, of the lick, um, and then I'm gonna try and play over the top of that, the, uh, the harmony, so you can really hear what it sounds like. So this is in three, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, two, three. I'll play that right the next time. Two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so that's how it sounds when you're playing both together. So if you've got a looper at home, give it a go. Uh, if you haven't got one, you can uh, play over the, the tracks that we got on the site or over the tabs as well.